What's going on everyone? Back at it again, got another video going out. So this one I'm gonna actually do on my social media. I don't really do videos on my social media. I usually type, but you know, I'm gonna come at you guys personally with a video. First and foremost, guys, get you guys some oils. Absolutely perfect thing that you should be wearing. Oils. What you do is you get your oil and your favorite cologne and you basically mix them together and just rub them all in. You go about your day. Just trust and believe. A man that smells good. Woo! Lord. You're gonna become a magnet, okay? <laughs> You're gonna become a magnet of attraction. But anyway, so this video is not financial advice. This is financial common sense. Again, this video is not financial advice. It's financial common sense. Anything that I say should be left up to your opinion to use or ignore. So let's get to the point. I'm gonna make it quick. I do have some videos to come to my YouTube channel that kind of really gets into uh, this information, but I just wanna hit you guys with this verbiage, all right? So everybody knows that cryptocurrency in the stock market is right now is tumbling. I wouldn't say that they're crashing because you know that's what the news channel would do. They would be like, oh, it's crashing so you guys can freak out and you guys can you know start selling your money and taking a loss. First thing first, whenever it comes to investing your money, you should always invest in some type of money that you're willing to lose. Again, I'm gonna say it straight to you guys. When you're investing your money in anything, it should be money that you're willing to lose. Like, you know, your mortgage or money to for your kids stuff. No, it should be money that you're willing to lose. You know, we all have that money that we're willing to lose, you know, such as some people, they eat out too much. Some people buy too many clothes. Some people buy too many shoes. Whatever that you're addicted to, that's what you should be, you know, you should be like, all right, I'm gonna put my addiction off to the side. I'm gonna use that money so I can invest into something. And that way I can actually turn it into something greater, potentially, because everything that you're gonna invest in your money, it's not always going to uh, come with a profit increase. It may become a loss, you know, especially when you invest your money into a housing. If you buy a house that you wanted to flip, you might, uh, buy the house at the wrong time of the market or wrong neighborhood or supplies may cost more than what you attended then you know the, the price that you want to sell a home you may not be able to sell it so you may have to take a hit but at the end of the day every downfall or failure is supposed to be a part of the experience that you go through in life which is supposed to mature you it's supposed to be experience that you learn and grow from, okay? Never have ever take some situation that you go through that's not a positive situation and continue to use that as a negative situation. Be like, oh man, oh my gosh, why did I do this? Uh, and they be upset and feeling down. No, 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 no. Get that negatively out your head and understand that any type of negative situation is supposed to be something that you're supposed to be like, what? Hold up, what did I do wrong here? All right, let me write that down. Yeah, I did that wrong. This is what I should have done. And this is what I'm gonna do next. Learn from it, grow from it. Trust and believe me, you'll be in a better situation next time. Anyway, going back to what I was saying before, money that you invest in into anything should be money that you're willing to lose. So for example, say for instance, I invested my money into cryptocurrency. I'm saying that Bitcoin is going down. I'm not gonna sell. Again, this is not financial advice. This is a financial consequence sense. But in my situation, I'm not selling because that was money that I was willing to lose, okay? So I'm gonna leave that money in there. Another thing is I'm not investing for a one year turnaround. I'm always investing in my money for a five to 10 year turnaround. So I wanna retire within 10 years or 15, which if I'm investing my money in the correct things, trust and believe me, the money I invested my money in is gonna double my profit. I'm just keeping it real. However, however, it's not always promise. There, there's many people out here whom invested their money into something and they completely took a loss. If you do your research and you invest in your money into the right things, you may see that loss comes out of recovery, from a recovery to a profit to triple profits. It all depends on which where you invest your money into. When it comes to stocks, cryptocurrency do not invest in your money into something because you see somebody else do it or you see other people do it because that's what you call of fear of losing out you're investing in your money into something because 
You're seeing everybody doing it. You're seeing you're hearing all these news of. I don't mean to interrupt the video. I know you guys was feeling the message, and I know you want to get back. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna get you guys back to it. But what I'm going to need you guys to do before I get you back to the video is for you guys to check out my YouTube page, which is a word from Mr. Jones. You can just basically go to YouTube. You can search for a word from Mr. Jones. Once you get to the page, hit that subscribe button. Check out my videos. So these are some of my popular videos. I got more videos to come. Main important thing is to subscribe to my channel. And the most definitely important thing to do is to subscribe to my sister channel, uh, which is Kiata Studio. Uh, the Queen Thumb, that's my other, my youngest sister. Show some support, because I'm definitely going to show some support back to you guys. On that note, I'm going to get you guys back to this video, because I know you guys wanted to return back to the video to get the message. So, my bad for stepping in. <laughs> Peace. I just put in uh, fifty dollars and I turned to two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, 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 and I, and I turned two hundred dollars to five hundred. But yeah, 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 I put in a thousand and I turned that to ten thousand. And you could be like, oh man, that sounds so good, man. Oh, I, I this is money that I, I need for my mortgage. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in there because everybody's doing it. Because if I don't do it, I'm gonna lose the opportunity of doubling. No, that's fair of losing out. Lose that mindset. Invest wisely. Use the common sense. Common sense is worth a lot of money. Everybody's losing their common sense. Stop panicking. If you are truly investing in your money, utilize money that you're willing to lose. And when you're utilizing money that you're willing to lose, you're not going to sell. You're going to be like, look, I did my research. I did my studies. This thing that I'm investing in, it, it has that return of profit after X amount of years because this thing that I'm investing in, they're actually doing stuff. They're actually developing their self down the line. They're continuing every year, they're enhancing their development. And with that enhancement of development brings what? It brings more investors. Here's an example. Say for instance, I'm gonna spend my money to some stocks. And just this particular stock is Home Depot and Dunkin', Dunkin' Donuts, all right? Home Depot, they're continuing to enhance their storefronts. They're continuing to enhance the type of material that they're bringing into the stores. They're not bringing in, you know, that cheap stuff. They're bringing in more, more good stuff, you know, more durable stuff that we, people can utilize for their projects, okay? So I'm like, okay, Home Depot, look at them. They're, they're, every year, they're, they're enhancing. Okay, Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, look at this. Every year they're switching it up. They're marking different stuff every year, every season. They're switching it up. Different type of products. Not just that, every year Dunkin' Donuts is enhancing their storefronts. They're making it more presentable. They're enhancing their electronics, appliances. You know, they're making it more useful. So that way, you know, when I get a coffee, it's not, you know, gibberish it's some whoo this is some high demand coffee right here this is this is premium material this is delicious it's the same thing with starbucks you know business getting a complaint customers don't like this okay we like that we like the feedback this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the draw board we're gonna look at what the customers like what the customers don't like we're gonna make some improvements so you know with that oh that business is willing to improve for the customers Woo, that's profit right there that they're gonna get. I'm gonna spend my money to that stock. Because years, years from now, you know, with that increase of developments for that business comes a profit for myself, you know what I mean? After five years, five to 10 years. So I'm not really trying to make this video long, but more of the story is guys, don't panic, don't sell. If you invest in your money, there's always a possibility of growth in return, and there's always that possibility of failure. But if you use the right strategies for investing, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't panic, don't sell. This has happened before, and after a couple years, things have returned. Study history because history does tend to repeat itself, but learn from it, grow from it. Daddy and profit from it so everybody hopefully this video has been helpful hopefully it's definitely been short but if it hasn't you know my bad but anyway guys 
I'll talk to you guys later.